Uncle Gaston. Hi, Gaston. I'll be right down. Oh, you're blue. Have you got a cold or something? Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. <gasps> What's happened to Gaston? <coughs> Nanny, you can speak, Ladybird. What's Gaston saying? <coughs> oh, he's saying he's not Gaston. He's Gaston's brother, Tony. <coughs> I didn't know Gaston had a brother. Me neither. <coughs> And Tony has come here with his family. This is Pam. <coughs> <coughs> And these are their children, Amber, Emerald, and Keith. Ah, oh, look, they are so cute. Oh, hello, you lot. They've come to visit Gaston, but they're lost. We'll take you to Gaston. Come on, this way. <laughs> Gaston, your brother Tony has come to visit. Oh, look! <laughs> They love their uncle Gaston. Oh dear! Oh dear! What? What is it? What are they saying? Well, they wrote Gaston a letter asking if he could look after their children for a day. <laughs> But he ate the letter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Gaston likes eating letters. So Gaston had no idea he was supposed to be looking after the little ones. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll help Gaston look after them. Yes, it'll be fun. <laughs> Bye! Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my glasses! Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my crown? <laughs> Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. Have fun, you two, and Uncle Gaston. <laughs> 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 Keith's riding on Gaston's back. <laughs> Now the other two want to go. <laughs> oh, Gaston looks a bit tired. Have a little rest, Gaston. We'll play with the baby ladybirds for a bit. Let's play fetch. Okay, Amber. Fetch. <laughs> <laughs> Emerald wants to go too. And Keith. <laughs> They're very fast. Don't they ever get tired? <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Oh, look. Baby lazy birds. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> They're called Amber, Emerald and Keith. And Gaston's their uncle. <laughs> They're a bit hyper. We know. They need a nap. When my little sister doesn't have a nap, she gets overtired. What happens then? She cries. <coughs> See what I mean? They can have a sleep in Gaston's cave. There you are, baby ladybirds. Now you can have a little rest. They don't seem very tired. Come on, lie down. Oh, they're not doing it. How can we get them to sleep? Hmm, to make my little sister sleepy, my mum reads her a storybook. Gaston's got storybooks. But looks like he's eaten them all. I've got lots of storybooks back home. Dee -dee -da -dum. Ah, lovely clean washing. Gaston, no! I'm not having muddy footprints all over my washing today, thank you. Ah! Hi, Nanny. We've brought the baby ladybirds over. Yes, I see. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> Tired today, eh, Gaston? At least that means you won't be jumping up on me and licking my face. <laughs> Goodness me, baby ladybirds. Yes, Amber, Emerald and Keith. Well, well. So Gaston is a girl ladybird after all. No, Gaston's a boy ladybird. He's their uncle. He's looking after them for the day. Are they house trained? Nearly. How oh, adorable. Little puppy ladybirds. Can they stay, Mummy? I'm sorry, Holly, but it's of not... Of course they can. Yay! I'm going to read a storybook to make the baby ladybirds sleepy. Oh, but where are the baby ladybirds? They've gone. Sounds like they're upstairs. <gasps> they're in Daisy and Poppy's room. I'll go and get them. No, Ben. Daisy and Poppy can be a bit dangerous. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> baby birds! Baby birds! Daisy, Poppy, they're not your dollies. They're baby ladybirds. Baby birds! Ruff, 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 ruff! Here they are! Um, how many baby ladybirds are there? Three. Hmm, there seem to be four now. And one of them's wearing a crown. Oh no! That's Mummy! They've turned her into a baby ladybird. Baby bird! Baby bird! <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, it's very naughty to turn your mother into a ladybird. Oof! Thank you, darling. <coughs> oh dear. It's all right, King Thistle. They're just getting overtired. Right. Where are your storybooks, Holly? In my bedroom. <laughs> they like Holly's bed. They've got so much energy. I love this storybook. No, Gaston. It's not for eating. <laughs> rock a -bye baby on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bell breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby, cradle and all. Down will come baby, cradle and all? That's not very nice. You're right. Um, what about this one? It's about ladybirds. Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on f Oh dear, this one's even more scary. How about this one? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Can't you make it more about ladybirds, Ben? Okay. Once upon a time, there were three little ladybirds. And they each built a little house. One was made of straw, one was made of sticks, and one was made of bricks. What happened next? Well, one day, a big bad wolf came along to the straw house. And he huffed, and he puffed, and he... Does the story have a happy ending? Um, let's see. Uh, no. I mean, let's just say the three little piggies, I mean ladybirds, lived happily ever after. So the wolf didn't eat any of them? Not even one? No, no, no. Of course not. It was all happy. The end. Ben, look, they're all asleep. Oh, yes, we did it. What time are their mummy and daddy coming to collect them? Oh, I've just thought. Their mummy and daddy won't know where we are. What is it, Gaston? He's heard something. Oh! Well done, Gaston. They found us. <laughs> oh, they've woken up already. How come they've got so much energy again? Mm, it might be something to do with them having a little sleep. Yes. My little sister's always got tons of energy after she's had a nap. Oh! <laughs> they do love their Uncle Gaston. And Uncle Gaston loves them too. <laughs> With this telescope, I can see deep into space. Wise old elf, 
can I look? Yes. Right now, the telescope is pointed at the moon. Ooh, it looks really close. Can I have a go? Of course. If I turn the telescope this way, you can see distant stars. Amazing! Oh, one of the stars is moving. Maybe it's a shooting star. Ooh, I can see it too. <gasps> it's going to crash into the ground. Wow, that sounded close. Let's take a look. This is where the shooting star landed. It's made a huge hole. Incredible. Look at all the smoke. It must be very hot. Let's climb down and get a closer look. No, we'll have to come back tomorrow when it's cooled down. <laughs> Morning time. Holly! Breakfast! No time, Daddy! A shooting star crashed into the meadow last night. Morning time! Ben, don't you want your breakfast? Later, Mum! I'm off to see the shooting star! Hi, Ben! Hi, Holly! Wow! What made that hole? A shooting star! It fell out of the sky! Excellent! So, what does this shooting star thingy look like? We're just about to find out, Your Majesty. Lower the claw! Ooh. It's got windows! Is it a spaceship? It's a flying saucer! The top's opening! Don't panic yet, but this might be an alien invasion! Ah! Alien invasion! Alien invasion! Everyone, please panic! Bleep, bloop, bleep, bleep. <laughs> it's the friendly aliens we met on the moon! Bleep, bleep, bleep. Hello, aliens! Bleep, bleep. Bleep, 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 bleep. Oh, look! They've got a baby alien! I am not baby! Whoops! Sorry, but you're so sweet and ickle. I am oldest one here. We get smaller as we get older. Oh, we get bigger as we get older. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Zyros. Take me to your leader. Uh, King Thistle is our leader. Ah, Thistle King. So, you are leader. Well, the wise old elf is also a leader. In a way. Oh no, your majesty. You are our king and leader. Yes. We come in peace. Phew. We are here on holidays. Have you come far? We come from planet Bong. Ooh. But our spaceship is crashed. Oh dear. You, Thistle King, must fix it. Me? Yes. As leader, you are clever and wise. Uh, yes. Of course I'm clever and wise. Hmm. Doesn't sound good. It is broken. Maybe I should take a look, Your Majesty. Good idea. Elves are good at fixing flying saucers. And I'm an elf. Let's see. Does the engine use clockwork or batteries? Oh. Oh, it's so colourful and pretty. It's a mass of pipes, tubes and incredibly complicated... <gasps> I don't need to know the little details. Just fix it. What a great and clever leader. Yes, we're very lucky. Hmm, this is going to take some time. Mr. Zyros, while you're waiting, would you like a tour of the Little Kingdom? We would very much like that. Oh, goody. This way. First stop, Gaston's Cave. Gaston, are you in? Oh, well. This is our friend, Gaston the Ladybird. Ah, a ladybird. Well, well. So that is the sound a ladybird makes. <laughs> what did he say? He asked if Gaston is for eating. No, we don't eat our friends. Do you? Oh, no. Hardly ever. Next on the tour, the little castle, where I live. Mummy! Hello, darling. Oh! It's okay, Mummy. 
They're just aliens from Planet Bong. Oh, that's all right then. No, you can't eat her. Thistle King, is this where you make your important decisions? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I'm always making important decisions. Your Majesty, do you want soup or sausages for lunch? Hmm, I think sausages. You are very wise, Thistle King. Oh, well, you know, I do my best. And Elf Ben, where do you live? I live in a tree. Tree? What is tree? Here it is, the great elf tree. Ah, I see. So a tree is a kind of apartment block. I am learning much about your planet. Hello, Ben. Ah, aliens! Yes, Dad. You remember the aliens we met on the moon? They're here on holiday. Oh, yes. Those aliens. Happy holiday! <coughs> no, he is not to be eaten either. Ah, this is such a wonderful planet. Have you been to other planets on holiday? Oh, yes, but this is best. You see, we are quite small, and on most planets, everyone is big. I see. Yes, we go to other planets for lovely, relaxing holiday and get stepped on by big people. It is not nice. Uh, there are some big people here, too. Big people here? Hello! Uh -huh. Hello! Big people! Don't worry, it's only our friend Lucy. She's a big girl. Lucy, these are aliens. They're here on holiday. <laughs> Hello, aliens. You are big, aren't you? Are there more like you? There's my mum and dad. We're having a picnic over there. So, there are three big people on this planet. Oh, no! There's loads! Millions and millions! Most of them bigger than me! Hmm, perhaps it is time for end of holiday. OK, let's go and see if your flying saucer is mended. Ah, just in time. I've mended the flying saucer. Well done, wise old elf. All those tubes and things made it a bit like plumbing. And elves are good at plumbing. Thank you. I will now start the engine. Oh, that's not right. It sounds like a fairy car on a cold day, Daddy. Yes, it does. A bit of magic always helps start the fairy car. No, you must never mix magic and plumbing. Oh, nonsense. Sounds good. Thanks to me being an excellent plumber. Thanks to my magic fairy dust, you mean. Now, now, let's say Elf Skill mended the engine and fairy magic got it started. Hooray! Lucy! That's my dad. I'd better go. Mum, Dad, you'll never guess what I just saw. Don't tell me. Elves and fairies again. Yes, and aliens too. <laughs> Aliens! Oh, aliens! Of course, Lucy. We must leave now. Ben, Holly, would you like a little ride before we go? Yes, please! <laughs> Dear Lucy, everyone knows aliens don't exist. Ben and Holly, the aliens have to fly back to their planet. They just wanted to say hello to your parents. Hello, big people. We have just been here on our holidays. Um, hello. We go now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye. I think we'll have picnics somewhere else in future. <laughs> Whee! Next time you go on holiday, you must come to Planet Bong. Okay, we will. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston wants to play fetch the stick. Okay, I'll magic up a stick. Ready, Wandy? Abracadabra. Here you go, Gaston. Fetch the stick. <laughs> Again? <laughs> oh, it's raining. We 
getting wet. No problem. Round to umbrella. Wow, that's great. Let's go. <laughs> Dry. Umbrella to wand. Achoo! Whoops! It sounds like your wand's got a cold. Achoo! Oh no! Poor Wandy! It's because she got all wet. I'd better call the wand doctor. Hello, is that the wand doctor? Yes, this is the wand doctor. Yes, we've got a sick wand. Put your wand to bed with a hot water bottle and I'll be right over. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. The doctor says you have to put Wandy to bed and he'll be right over. Achoo! Poor Wandy! The wand doctor is here. Hello. But that's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a fully qualified wand doctor. Oh, I see. We elves make the wands, remember? Yes, why is that? You hate magic. We make wands, but we don't use them. Magic always leads to trouble. Now, where is my patient? Here. Achoo! Ah, that's loud. <laughs> Tongue out, please. As I thought, a cold. I suggest plenty of rest. The wand needs to stay in bed and keep nice and warm. Will Wandy be able to do magic? Oh, no, no, no. There'll be no waving Wandy around for a while. Oh, what'll I do without a wand? Funny you should ask. I've been working on a brand new wand. Maybe you'd like to try it out. Wow! It's been top secret until now. I call it the Y3000. Even I didn't know about it. Gosh, thanks, wise old elf. It's so pretty. You're my best friend. Ooh. And it talks. I love you. Incredible. Amazing. That's not all. This wand has a very special feature no other wand has. What special feature? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. I have to say... Wands don't get any better than this. What did he mean by that? What does he ever mean? I always lose interest halfway through. I can't wait to do some magic with my wise wand 3000. Well, you will have to wait till tomorrow because it's nearly bedtime. Oh, Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. Bye, Gaston. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Morning, Daddy. Morning, Holly. You're my best friend. Ah, the new wand. How is it? It's amazing. I love you. <laughs> Good news, Princess Holly. Wandy is better. The wand doctor was right. She just needed a bit of rest. Oh, that's nice. So you can take that new wand back to the wise old elf if you like. Uh, I think I might like to keep it for a bit. I haven't even tried doing magic with it yet. Oh, well what should we do with this? Um, I don't really need it anymore. Can you put it with my baby toys? Okay. Oh well, there you go. Holly's got a new wand now. Wand? Yes, it's called the Wise Wand 3000. I love you. Wow, it talks. Yes, it's very, very new and top secret. You're my best friend. Oh, <laughs> let's play a game. Yes, what shall we play? Let's play Princesses, Knights and Naughty Witches. Yes. I'll be the princess because I am a princess. And I'll be the brave knight. OK. Wow, real armour. And I'll be the naughty witch. <laughs> what do we do now? The brave knight has to rescue the princess from a tower. What tower? Ha <laughs> ha, this tower. 
<laughs> wow! How am I going to rescue you from that? In the stories, the princess grows her hair really long and the knight climbs up it. Oh, yes! Ooh! Climb up that hair, Ben! <laughs> Easy! Elves are good at climbing up hair and I'm an elf! <laughs> Here I am. I've come to rescue you. Thank you, brave knight. <laughs> but now you're both trapped. <laughs> oh. We can easily get down. Not if I put bars on the window. Oh, we're stuck. <laughs> Fleur, lunchtime. Oh, that's my mum. I've got to go. Bye. OK. Bye, Fleur. How are we going to get down? Don't worry. I've got my Wise One 3000. You're my best friend. OK. Let's get out of here. I love you. Oh, it didn't work. I love you. It's not doing anything. What happened the last time you used it? Nothing. I haven't done any magic with it yet. I love you. It's useless. I wish I had my old wand. Oh, it's Gaston. Gaston could fetch help. Yes, Gaston, go and get Wandy. Fetch, Gaston, fetch. <laughs> Gaston, you're in a hurry today. <laughs> hey, where are you going with one day? The Wise Wand 3000 is meant to be a very special wand, but it doesn't do anything. Maybe it's broken. It doesn't look broken. I love you. Does it ever say anything else? No, apart from... You're my best friend. That. It's actually a bit annoying. Yes, my old one's never talked. It just... Oh, Wandy! My old wand! Here, Gaston! Yes, indeed. You. I think I'll use my old wand from now on. Ah, Princess Holly, how are you getting on with a wise wand 3000? It's broken. Is it? I love you. It looks perfectly fine to me. But it doesn't do magic. Yes, that's the special feature I was talking about. No magic. What? A wand that doesn't do magic? Correct. You see, magic always leads to trouble and also... But a wand that doesn't do magic is not a wand. It's just a stick. So, you're saying that the Wise Wand 3000 is good for absolutely nothing? Yes. yes! I know one thing it's good for. Yes? Here, Gaston, fetch the stick. You're my best friend. I love you. Gaston loves fetching sticks. <laughs> And I love you, Wandy. You're my best friend. The Lost City. Today, I, Redbeard the Elf Pirate, set sail in my pirate airship. Where are you going? To the Lost City. What's that? An ancient place of great beauty. Pyramids, waterfalls, fountains, great statues of ancient gods, and treasure. Ooh! Where is it? In the jungle, far, far from here, a long and dangerous journey. 
All right, off you go then. Try and be strong, my sweetheart. I will return. Ugh. Take your time. You don't want to rush the lost city. Anchors away! Good luck, Redbeard! Thank you! But a pirate doesn't need luck. I laugh in the face of danger. Farewell! Bye! Oh! Poor Gaston. He's missing Redbeard already. This is the life. I love adventures. Aha! I think I see the jungle! Lost City, here I come! Oh! What is it, Gaston? He's worried about Redbeard! Oh! Don't worry, Gaston. Redbeard would call us if he got into trouble. Hello? I found it, Nanny Plum! The Lost City! Oh, jolly good. Only thing is, I've hit a bit of bad luck, and I'm in terrible danger. I thought you laughed in the face of danger. I do, normally, but I'm trapped. The ropes from my airship are tangled up in the jungle. We'll come to your rescue, Redbeard. Yes! Don't feel you must. I can survive here. I'll eat the odd leaf and drink dewdrops to survive. Oh. I could probably last a couple of weeks that way. Unless a snake gets me first, of course. We won't let that happen. The elves are coming. Uh, and the fairies. OK, we'll do a rescue mission. Emergency! Emergency! Let's get this plane loaded for a jungle rescue. Right, ho! Jungle tent! Jungle tent! Jungle first aid kit! Jungle first aid kit! Jungle clothes! Jungle clothes! And I've brought the jungle picnic! Cheese sandwiches and lemonade for everyone! Nanny Plum, this is a rescue mission, not a picnic! So, you still need sandwiches? You'll need these! What are they? Parachutes! Parachutes? Cool! Yes! I can't land the elf plane in the jungle, so you'll be parachuting in. How will we find Redbeard in the jungle? Gaston will sniff him out. <laughs> Gaston can smell anyone from miles away. Redbeard does have a strong smell. Yes, a bit like cheesy socks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. Time to go. Wind the engine. Righty ho Airplane ready for takeoff. Oh, we've only just got going. The jungle is on the other side of the world. <laughs> oh. Gaston can smell Redbeard. Already? <laughs> we can't be at the jungle yet. Gaston's nose is never wrong. <laughs> then it is time to jump. Everybody ready? Ready. Go, go, go. Good. Now to find Redbeard. Gaston, find Redbeard. Remember, he smells like old socks. <laughs> Good boy. This way. Ooh, look at that statue. Hmm, some kind of ancient god, I suppose. We must be getting close to the lost city. Look at this crazy orange plant. Ah, yes. The proper name is Heliconia jacquinii. And this one's called Chrysanthemum locansimum. How did you know that? It's on the label. Oh, how odd. This statue's labelled too. And this one. This plant's got a price on it. Four ninety nine. That's good. Something very strange is going on here. Yes, some madman has gone through the jungle labelling everything. 
It's raining! It's not rain! It's a big person with a watering can! This isn't the jungle! This is a garden centre! Gaston's brought us to the wrong place! Poor Redbeard is hundreds of miles away in the real jungle! Oh, and we're stuck in a garden centre! Hello? Hello? Are you nearly here? Uh, we're a bit far from the jungle. Oh, yes? Whereabouts? Right now, we're in a garden centre, in a pot of daffodils. Daffodils? Oh, yes! I can see you! What? I'm inside! Look through the doors! Hello! I thought you said you'd gone to the jungle. It is a jungle in here. Come and see. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, well, I suppose we'd better rescue him anyway. Carefully now. We must not be spotted by the big people. Why won't the magic door open? It's not a magic door. You just stand in front of it and it opens. But we're too small for the door to notice us. Time for a bit of magic. Now that's what I call a magic door. Ha <laughs> ha! Am I pleased to see you, me hearties? Don't you me hearty me? Do you realise how much of our time you've wasted? Uh... We thought you were trapped in the jungle. Not sitting in a tomato plant in a shop. But this is where the Lost City is. Look! Lost City? It's a load of garden ornaments. Come, come, Nanny Plum. You have to use your imagination. It's a lost city of pyramids, waterfalls and treasure. It's a load of plastic rubbish. Well, haven't you had an adventure coming to find me? Yes, it's been fun. And that's what being an elf pirate is all about. Having fun. <laughs> now, all you have to do is untangle me and we can get away from this dangerous jungle. Oh, this isn't a jungle. And there is no danger. Whoa! Hang on! Hold tight! Hello, I'm a customer. And I would like to buy this plant. Find everything you're looking for today? Yes, thank you. Do the toys come free with the plant? Uh, oh, I suppose so. One pot plant with toys. And one magic goblin. I am not magic! One talking magic goblin. Oh, no barcodes. I put it through as compost. Oh, thank you. Magic goblin? Compost? How dare she! We've got to get free! Come on! Everyone into the airship! That's it! Let's go! Anchors away! <laughs> uh, hello, Mrs. Customer! Hello? Don't tell anyone you've been seeing elves and fairies! No! Oh. Up, up oh. and away! Ha <laughs> ha Wise old elf! Looks like I'm rescuing you from the jungle! From the garden centre, you mean? Ah, my sweet sugar plum! I brought you a present from my adventures! A tomato? Is it a tomato? Or is it a mysterious red berry from the darkest depths of the lost city? Use your imagination! It's a tomato! Set sail for the little kingdom! Home we go! <laughs> the dwarf mine! <laughs> Catch Barnaby! To you, Strawberry! To you, Holly! Whoa! What was that? I don't know! It was coming from the old dwarf mine! Isn't the dwarf mine empty? Yes, I think so. I can hear voices. Whoa! That was loud. We'd better tell the grown-ups. Wise old elf, there are noises in the mine. The 
mine? What mine? The old dwarf mine! You're not supposed to be in there! It's dangerous! We weren't in there! We just heard a big bang! Yes! And the ground shook! Whoa. Like that! Oh no! The dwarves have woken up! Woken up? Yes, deep inside the mine, the dwarves have been sleeping. They sleep for years and years. Then, when they wake up, they start to dig. What are they digging for? Precious jewels, gold, diamonds, gemstones. But digging for things doesn't make a big bang noise. It does when the dwarves do it. They carry out big explosions underground. And then dig through the mess. They just dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. Yes, yes, Mrs. Elf. They keep digging until they are so tired they fall asleep again. They sleep and sleep and what sleep. What do dwarves look like? They're big, bigger than us. Yes, dwarves are huge. This is a worrying time. The whole of the little kingdom might get dug up. Holes everywhere. What are we going to do? Just hope. Hope they dig in the other direction. Hope they don't come anywhere near us. Morning all. Just letting you know there'll be some digging work in this area. Oh no. We apologise in advance for any inconvenience caused to your journey. Journey? What journey? We're not going anywhere. No? I would if I were you. Look at this hole. Someone could fall in. Hmm. I think we need to talk to King Thistle. The wise old elf to see you, your majesty. Hmm? Dwarves, your majesty. Dwarves? They're back. No. I'm afraid so. We haven't had a dwarf infestation for years. But now they've woken up. I see. Well, they live underground mostly. Maybe they won't bother us. But they've already dug a hole by the elf tree. It's only one hole. Maybe you can turn it into a pond or something. Your Majesty, you don't understand. This is just the start. The dwarfs will dig up all of the little kingdom. Wise old elf, you worry too much. It will be fine. Goodness gracious. I say, do you mind? What's that, mate? You've made a great big hole in my courtyard. Now, pal, don't get upset. Upset? My castle is falling over. Yeah, you want to get that fixed? Now, listen here. I'm the king. Oh, a complaint, is it? You'd better talk to the boss. Right, I will. Ding, ding, ding. Good work, chaps. Keep it going. Hello. I want to speak to the boss. Is he? Hang on a minute. Oi, lads. Just pipe down a second, okay? Right. You were saying? I want to speak to the boss. I'm the boss. Do you have an appointment? He doesn't need one. He's the king. A king doesn't make appointments. Not even at the hairdressers. Uh... Daddy doesn't have any hair. He's bald. Well, that's not our fault. Look, we want to complain about the noise. What noise? The noise from the mine. Oh, I can't hear anything. That noise. Now look, I'm the king, and I'm commanding you to stop all the digging. Yeah, the thing is, though, you're only king above the ground, just to the topsoil. Below that, I'm the boss. But... We can't stop digging anyway. That's what we do. We won't stop until we've found gold and diamonds and gems. I've got an idea. Nanny Plum can magic you up some gold and diamonds and gems. Good thinking, Holly. There we go. Problem solved. Now kindly stop digging. But I can magic up that stuff. Eh? Where's the fun in that? You have to dig for it. Now, if you don't mind, some of us have work to do. Come on, lads. Let's get digging. Well, that could have gone better. Let's go away and come up with another plan. 
So if no one wants this treasure, can I have it? Yes, yes, take it. Silence, please! Everyone! Now, we are gathered here to discuss the dwarf problem. They're making loud bangs! They're digging holes everywhere! They've dug up my carrots! Yes, yes, we all know how annoying they can be. Can't you magic them away? No, fairy magic doesn't work on dwarves. I know how to get rid of the dwarves. We take all this treasure... Aww! Sneak into the mine and bury the treasure deep down. Oh, and then the dwarves will dig it up. And they'll be happy and stop digging. Correct. Excellent plan. All right, Nanny Plum's in charge. Off you go. But it's my plan. OK, you can both be in charge. Thank you, Your Majesty. But I'm in charge, really. We need to bury the treasure deep down in the mine. But how do we get inside? The train! Clever Ben! Wait for me! Wolf Mine, here we come! <laughs> Voices. This is the dwarf boss. Come on, lads. Let's go, go, go. That's brilliant. Now watch this. All right, boys. Tape break. Tape break. Okay, boss. <laughs> well done, Nanny Plum. No probs. Right, let's hide this treasure. Quickly now. Dwarves never stop digging for long. Have we found treasure? Yes! And lots of it! Well done, lads! Keep digging! Hey? What do you mean, keep digging? In case there's more treasure, of course! We always dig twice as hard when we find treasure! Oh, no! What are you doing here, anyway? This is a dwarf-only area! We put the treasure there for you to find! What? We thought you'd stop digging! We thought you'd be happy! Why, how thoughtful of you! And we thought you'd stop making that racket! Well, I suppose all the noise could be a bit upsetting. Yes, yes it is! And that's why we apologise in advance. Come on, lads, let's get digging! <laughs> yeah, all this digging has made me quite tired. <sighs> Me too, boss. I think they're going to sleep. Yes, they've tired themselves out. Night, night, boss. Night, night, lads. Good. Now they'll sleep for years. They'll sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. And then they'll wake up and start digging all over again. Yes. They'll dig and dig and dig. Keep up, children. We don't want to be late for your magic test. Nanny Plum, why do we have to take a magic test? All fairies take a magic test. It's how you get your magic license. This is mine. Ooh, will ours look like that? No, this is a grown-up license. You'll be getting a children's license. Who gives us the magic test? The elves do. But elves don't like magic. No, but we do make the wands. <laughs> <laughs> and elves do like tests. Good morning, everyone. Have you come for your magic test? Yes, yes Mrs. Elf. 
Until the test is finished, I am not Mrs. Elf. I am Mrs. Examiner. Yes, Mrs. Examiner. Lift up these pebbles, please. Move them forwards. This is hard. Yes. Now backwards. When I clap my hands, stop. Excellent. And finally, one simple question. Magic must only be used for serious things or just for fun. Um, uh, is the answer. Magic must only be used for serious things. Correct. You've all passed the magic test. Hooray! And I'm Mrs Elf again. You may now hug me. <laughs> <laughs> well done, everyone. Here are your licenses, signed by me, the Chief Examiner. I knew they'd pass because I taught them. That makes their success even more amazing. Thank you, wise old elf. Perhaps we should have a little celebration. Oh, yes. Can we have a party? And what every party needs is magic jelly. Uh, Nanny, I don't think that's such magic a... Magic jelly. Lots and lots. Ah! Jelly flood! Jelly flood! <laughs> What's the daisy? Used a bit too much magic there. Nanny Palum, do you even have a magic license? Of course I do. Oh dear, it's expired. What does that mean? It means it's worthless. Can't I do magic then? No, it's against the law. No grown-up fairy can do magic without a license. What? I'm taking away your wand. You can't do that. I just did. It's an outrage. The king will be very angry. <laughs> it's not funny. You're right. It's not funny. <laughs> Nanny does not have a license. She must not do magic. Yes, yes, wise old elf. But maybe we can overlook it just this once, as it's Nanny? It's because it is Nanny we shouldn't overlook it. She's dangerous. Wise old elf, I am your king and I must... Yes? Is your license up to date, your majesty? My license? Well, I'm sure. I mean, I, I, I... W Maybe I should take a look. Uh, no need for that. The wise old elf is right, Nanny Plum. Rules are rules. What? So I can never do magic again? Of course you can. Uh, can she? She will have to go back to magic school first. Magic school? Yes, Mrs. Fig's magic school. Oh. <laughs> My name is Mrs. Fig. You remember me, don't you? How could I forget? In all my years of teaching, I never had another pupil like you. Thank you. I was her best pupil. The wise old elf has taken away Nanny Plum's wand. Very sensible. And he has sent her back to your magic school. What? Yes, I'm back. You lucky old thing. Good luck, Nanny. Oh, I'm the one that'll need the luck. The first thing to know about magic is magic always leads to trouble. So, for our first lesson, you will not have a real wand. You will have this stick. What does it do? Nothing. Oh, why can't I have a real wand? You need to learn how to use magic sensibly. But I use magic for lots of sensible things. Like ironing the king's underpants or dusting the fridge or polishing the carpet or... Miss Plum, I am the teacher. If you want to pass your magic test, I suggest you start listening to me. Let's see how you hold your wand. No, 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 all wrong. You're making magic, not stirring soup. Is that better? It'll do for the moment. Now, a few questions. Can't we do a spell instead? How do you stop a squirrel nesting on your roof? Uh, turn them into a frog. How do you get a mouse out of your kitchen? Uh, turn them into a frog. How do you rescue an elf who is stuck up a tree? Oh, I know this one. Turn them into a frog. Is that your answer to everything, Nanny Plum? 
turn them into a frog? Yes. Oh, dearie me. This is going to be a long day. How was your lesson today, Nanny? Really good. I got a couple of things wrong at the start, but I got better and better all day. That's great. I'm all ready for my test tomorrow. Ask me any question you like. OK. How do you stop a mole from digging up your lawn? Turn them into a frog. Uh, no. That's not the answer in the book. Are you sure? Maybe you're reading it wrong. I don't think so. Oh, I find the answer to most things is turn them into a frog. Nanny, don't keep saying turn them into a frog. That will never be the answer. Oh, all right. I'll try and remember that. Morning, Nanny Plum. Have you come to take your magic test? Yes, Mrs Elf. Until the test is finished, I am not Mrs Elf. I am Mrs. Examiner. Right you are, Mrs. Elf. I'll take this one. Yes, Mr. Chief Examiner. But that's not fair. I thought I was going to have Mrs. Elf. Quiet, please. The test has begun. Here is your wand back. Oh, nice to see you again. Please lift this rock up in the air. But it's really big. I know. Can't I use a pebble? The pebbles are for the children's test. Why can't I take the children's test? Because you're a grown-up, or you're supposed to be. Ugh, all right. There. Mm-hmm. Now, forwards, please. Ah! <gasps> Whose rock is that? It belongs to the wise old elf. Just be careful. OK. Reverse, please. Slowly. Ah, what's happened to my castle? The wise old elf told me to do it. Sorry, Your Majesty. Now, forwards again. And when I clap my hands, you must stop. No problemo. Stop. Stop! 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 Ah. <gasps> oh, bring the rock back here. Ah. Now, I want you to magic this rock into something else. A frog? No. I can do frogs. An egg. What do you want an egg for? Oh, just do it, please. All right. Keep your hair on. <laughs> I said an egg, not a chicken. There, one egg. Did I pass? The practical test is over, but you still have to answer one question. How would you help a tadpole become a grown-up? Uh, to help a tadpole become a grown-up? Um, uh... Nanny, what's your favourite spell? Turn them into a frog? Correct. I knew it! The test is over, and it's bad news. Did I fail? It's worse than that. You passed. Hooray! You may now do magic again. Did you hear that wand? We're back in business. Oh dear, magic always leads to trouble. No, it doesn't. Show me one piece of sensible magic. OK, there's one piece of magic I've been wanting to do all day. What's that? Turn you into a frog. You can't do that. Oh yes, I can. Here's my licence. Oh dear. Frog time! Like I said... Good morning, Your Majesties. Good morning, Nanny Plum. Princess Holly would like to show you how well she is doing with her magic. Yes, I would. That's lovely, sweetie. She will now cast a spell for you. It's not magic jelly, is it? No, no. Not magic jelly. You can choose. What would you like best in the whole wide world? Could you make me something pretty? Okay. Abacadabity bobbity boom. <coughs> Is it? It seems to be a box of burps, Your Majesty. No! Oh, that's disgusting. Sorry, Daddy. I think it's about time Holly had some proper magic lessons. Very good, Your Majesty. I'll just fetch my wand. No, Nanny Plum. 
I mean proper lessons at a proper school. School? Yes. Holly is old enough to go to Mrs. Fig's magic school. Oh, Mrs. Fig's magic school. I went there when I was little. It sounds fun. Can my friends come as well? Of course. Violet, Rosie, Strawberry and Fleur can go to magic school too. Can Ben come along? Oh, remember Ben is an elf and elves don't like magic. Ben will most likely be at elf school today. Good morning, children. Good morning, wise old elf. This morning's lesson is called Why Elves Don't Do Magic. Who can tell me why elves don't do magic? Because we're elves. <coughs> yes, Ben. But can anyone tell me why we don't do magic? Because we're elves. <coughs> Yes, yes, I know. But why don't we? Is it because magic always leads to trouble? Yes, Jake. Magic always leads to trouble. This way, girls. And talking of trouble... Hello, wise old elf. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. We're going to magic school. Oh, can we go to the magic school too, wise old elf? No, I forbid it. Oh, please, wise old elf. Please, please. Oh, very well. Today's lesson will be to see how magic <laughs> always leads to trouble. <laughs> this way to the magic school. Ah, magic school. I suppose it'll all be pink and fluffy and covered in glitter. That sounds nice. Here we are, Mrs. Fig's magic school. Oh, what a sensible building. It could have been built by an elf. I know. It's a bit ugly, isn't it? It's very sensible. Now, girls and boys, you'll soon be meeting Mrs. Fig. She taught me everything I know. Ooh. Mrs. Fig liked me. I used to call her Old Figgy. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, children. Morning, Old Figgy. My name is Mrs. Fig. Fig. Morning, Mrs. Fig. That's better. Hello, Figgy. Remember me? Ah, Nanny Plum. How could I forget? I told you I was her best pupil. In all my years of teaching, Nanny Plum, I never had another pupil like you. Thank you. And I am the wise old elf. <laughs> elf? At magic school? Yes, we're here to see the magic all go wrong. Nothing will go wrong at Mrs. Fig's magic school. Now, who do we have here? I'm Princess Holly. Princess Holly, what do you and your little friends know about magic? Oh, I've taught them lots of things. Let's say you know nothing. What's the most important rule of magic? Don't do magic. Correct. What? But where's the fun in that? Magic is not meant to be fun. Oh, ho, ho. I like this lesson. Magic is only meant to be used for sensible things by sensible people. Now, pretend you are in the kitchen doing the washing up. Are you going to wash the dirty dishes using magic? Yes. Stop! That's just the sort of thing you can do by hand. What? That's just plain wrong. But if you come across a particularly stubborn stain on a saucepan, then perhaps you could use magic. Leave it to soak overnight. Why not just magic the whole lot clean and get on with something fun? I am the teacher, Nanny Plum. Sorry. Figgy. And now for the magic lesson. Hooray! First, we have to warm up. Let's start with a little jog. No, not the jogging. Outside, chop chop. Run around, everyone. What does running have to do with magic? Nothing. It builds character. I don't need any more character. Thank you. Are you all having fun? Yes! Right, stop! Jogging is not meant to be fun. <sighs> now, who would like to show me their favourite spell? Me! Anyone else? I can do a growing spell. Very good. Show us your 
growing spell, please. Okay. Lapity poppity foam. Grow, grow, grow! Not <laughs> me. That growing spell? Me? I might have known. Well, it did work. You grew a lot. I know a spell to make things smaller. Wait, don't. Gibbly gobbly go. Slow, slow, slow. Ah! Ah! Mrs. Fig is still shrinking. Help! Help! She's getting teenier and teenier. She's never going to stop shrinking. Oh, I'd better grow her again. Figgy, figgy, fig. Back too big. How are you feeling? I am very, very, very angry. So, as you see, children, magic always leads to trouble. They were two very silly spells. Can anyone think of a useful spell? Magic jelly. Magic Jelly? Yes, that's very useful. Well, I suppose magic jelly has its uses. Like at a children's party. Or a picnic. Or as a yummy pudding. Okay, magic jelly. But let's get someone sensible to wave the wand. Me! Me! me. All right! Who is the most sensible person here? The wise old elf. The wise old elf shall wave the wand. Me? But I'm not a fairy. I don't do magic. Exactly. The perfect person. Oh, I don't think so. No, it wouldn't be right. Nonsense. We just need a bit of fairy dust. You are now magical. My body is all tingly. I don't like it. Don't worry. You won't be magical for very long. Just wave the wand and say... Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Uh, jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Oh! oh! It worked! Can I turn Nanny Plum into a frog? Ha! I'd like to see you try. <laughs> I say, this is fun. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Why is all that? What are you doing? Having fun. Magic is not meant to be fun. What would happen if I asked for a lot of jelly? Try it and see. Jelly, jelly, jelly. And lots of it. No! Stop! We don't want a jelly bag! <laughs> It wasn't me. It was him. That's ridiculous. Elves don't do magic. Actually, Your Majesty, it was the wise old elf. Journey to the center of the earth. Hello, Mrs. Mothering Girl. Have you come to teach Daisy and Poppy? Yes, Nanny Plum. And this time, I am not going to let Daisy and Poppy get the better of me. That's the spirit. She's doomed. My Fotheringill is here to give the twins their lesson. Are you sure you really want to do that, Mrs. Fotheringill? We'd quite understand if you... Oh, no, I have thought long and hard about it. And what happened last time was not the twins' fault. It was my fault. But the twins zap you to the South Pole. Only because I didn't give the little darlings enough trust. If you trust a child, they will repay your trust. <laughs> now, Daisy and Poppy, let's start this lesson as we mean to go on. <laughs> let's just open our picture books and... <laughs> what are they doing to her up there? The last time she taught the twins, they made them disappear. All they found was her shoes. Disappear! Now, Daisy! 
see, I know that deep down you're good and you'd never make me disappear. Disappear. <laughs> ah, good. They've gone quiet. Quiet isn't good. It means they're up to something. I hope Mrs. Fotheringill is all right. <gasps> all that's left of her is her shoes. <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, where is Mrs. Fotheringill? Gone. All gone. Gone? My goodness. The twins are so wild and naughty. Where do they get it from? Grandpapa Thistle is here. There's your answer. Hello, everyone. Hello, Dad. Grandpapa. 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 <laughs> Hello, my dears. I was just passing, and I asked myself, why don't I take my grandchildren for a day out? Hooray! Hang on, Dad. Where were you thinking of taking the children? I thought we'd visit a volcano. Um, I don't think. Climbing up a volcano is such a good idea. We're not going to climb up it. Oh, good. We're climbing down inside it. What? You can't take children into a volcano. It's too dangerous. Is it? All right, then. How about lion taming? No. What's wrong with a nice walk in the meadow? I bet the twins would like to go down a volcano. Yes, Papa. The twins are in disgrace today. They have been very, very naughty. Ah, what have the little darlings done? They've only made their teacher disappear. Oh, that nice Mrs. Fotheringill. Gone. All gone. gone. Daisy, Poppy, where have you sent your teacher? Down. Down to the kitchen? Down, down. Down to the cellar? Very down. You know what? I think Daisy and Poppy have sent Mrs. Fotheringill to the centre of the earth. Centre <laughs> We have to rescue her. Well, that's settled where we're going for our day out then. To the centre of the earth. <laughs> I saw the film of Journey to the Center of the Earth. There were dinosaurs and lost tribes and everything. Dinosaurs? In the center of the Earth? What nonsense. It's true. I saw it on the telly. How do we get to the center of the Earth? We could just take the stairs. Stairs? Yes. There are secret stairs in the little castle that go down, down, down. Ooh. <laughs> The stairs start from a secret entrance in the kitchen. We just have to press this large button. Oh, I've always wondered what that button was for. I built these stairs when I built the little castle. I asked myself, why have stairs only to the cellar? Why not to the center of the earth? You're a bit crazy, aren't you? I'm not crazy. I'm completely bonkers. Look, there's some writing on the wall. It's runic writing written by dwarves. What does it say? Nanny, can you translate it? Hmm. It says, take these stairs down to the center of the earth. At the bottom, you'll see dinosaurs. Does it really say dinosaurs? No, I made that bit up. But there will be dinosaurs. You'll see. <sighs> Are we nearly there yet? No, Holly. We have to go past the roots of the plants, the trees, the giant spider caves. It's a long way to the center of the earth. So how many steps do we have? to go down 48 million trillion thousand oh no my feet are tired already that's why i got the dwarves to put a lift in doors opening hold tight everyone the lift does go rather fast doors closing going down Of the earth. Doors opening. Here we are, the center of the earth. It's a huge cave. It's full of trees and giant mushrooms. Yep, that's how it was on telly. Well, one thing that's not here dinosaurs. <laughs> There's one. Oh. 
see? The telly is always right. But now that we're here, how do we find Mrs. Fotheringill? Gaston can sniff Mrs. Fotheringill's shoes and find her. Brilliant, Ben. <laughs> find Mrs. Fotheringill. <laughs> Good boy, Gaston. <laughs> I wonder where we'll find the Lost Tribe. Lost Tribe? What nonsense. Whoa, look at that. A lost tribe! Told you! They're elves and fairies, just like us! Halt! Who journeys through our land? We come from the surface of the mighty Earth. We welcome you, surface dwellers. We thank you, O Lord of the Underground. Nanny, why are they speaking in that funny way? That's how they speak on telly. We bid you greetings. Uh, actually, we've come to get Mrs. Fotheringill. Ah, the one we call Teacher. Yes, that'll be her. Good morning, children. My name is Mrs. Fotheringill. Hello, Mrs. Fotheringill. Oh, hello, everybody. We're here to rescue you. And we've brought your shoes. Oh, my shoes. It's good to have them back. It's been very nice and peaceful down here, a bit like a holiday. But I will be glad to be back in my own little home. Mama girl, Mama girl. Yeah, Daisy, Poppy. Uh, on the other hand, I think I'll stay here. Young lady, do you want to be rescued or not? Oh, I don't know. It's so hard to decide. I'll make it easy for you. Yes? As queen, I command you to come back. Oh, well, in that case... Right, mission accomplished. Let's go home. Back to the lift, everyone. Oh, no. Not that horrid lift again. My poor tummy. There is another way up. We can go by balloon. <laughs> Just need a basket. Abracadabra. All aboard. Goodbye, people of the underground. We bid you farewell, surface dwellers. See ya. Oh, floating gently up in a balloon sounds lovely and relaxing. It certainly will be lovely and relaxing. If you can call hurtling through a volcano relaxing. Volcano? Of course. The volcano will take us straight up to the surface. Dad, I said no volcanoes. Oh, we'll be fine. As long as a volcano doesn't erupt. Whoops, seems to be erupting. Oh, well, here we go. Next stop, the little castle. Now, Daisy and Poppy, say sorry to Mrs. Fotheringill for causing her so much trouble. Sorry. And do you promise to be good next time I teach you? We promise. Oh, they are sweet, really, aren't they? She never learns. She's doomed. <laughs> What's all the noise? Mummy, the twins are being naughty. Shouldn't they be at playgroup? There hasn't been any playgroup for weeks now. Really? Why not? The problem was all the toddlers were together in one place. Isn't that the idea of a playgroup? Well, yes, but just think. There was Raspberry. Even her wand is rude. <laughs> and Nettle. She has a stinging nettle in her hat. And Tarquin. Tarquin likes. Playgroup. <laughs> and Daisy and Poppy. Bye, bye. <laughs> All together, they're quite a handful. What happened to their nice teacher, Mrs. Fotheringill? Good morning, children. My name is Mrs. Fotheringill. They made her disappear. Disappear? All they found was her shoes. Now, no one wants to be the teacher, and the nursery is closed. What a lot of fuss about nothing. I know. I'll be the playgroup teacher, and Nanny Plum can be my assistant. Uh, um, I'd like to be, 
but I'm really very busy. I'll call my friend Mrs. Elf then. She can be my assistant. Hello? Mrs. Elf speaking. Hello? It's Queen Thistle. Oh, Your Majesty. I wonder if you'd be interested in a new job. A job? Yes. You'd be working with me. That would be an honor, Queen Thistle. As assistant teacher at the playgroup. Hello? Hello? Oh, the phone must be broken. Still, she sounds very keen. I'll go around and fetch her. Are you sure you want to be the teacher, Mummy? The toddlers can be very naughty. No problem. I'll have Mrs. Elf to help me. Hello? Is Mrs. Elf there? Uh, sorry, but Mrs. Elf had to go away suddenly. She is not here. Oh, hello, Mum. Oh, hello. I just got back. Perfect. Daisy and Poppy are so... So pleased you're going to help at playgroup. <laughs> well, as long as it's just Daisy and Poppy. Oh, no. It will be all their friends as well. Lovely. Oh, it's locked. What a shame. No playgroup. Don't worry, Mrs. Elf. I have the key. Lovely. A quick tidy and we'll soon have it ship shape. Oh, look. Mrs. Fotheringill's shoes. Where did she go? No one knows. She just disappeared. Come along. The toddlers will be here in a minute. We heard playgroups reopening. We didn't quite believe it, though. So what poor person is the new teacher? Ah, uh, me, actually. And I'm the assistant teacher. Tarquin's been really missing, playgroup. Tarquin like playgroup. So has Raspberry. And Nettle. <laughs> Come in, children. Oh, she stung me. <laughs> Hello, I'm your new nursery teacher, and this is my assistant, Mrs. Oh. She's hiding under the desk. Uh, hello, children. I'm Mrs. Elf. Relax, Mrs. Elf. There's nothing to worry about with me in charge. Now, children, let's... <laughs> <gasps> they've made the queen disappear. All they've left is her panties. Children, what have you done with the Queen? Gone. All gone. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Queen Thistle. The toddlers have magicked me somewhere. But I'll be back as soon as I've worked out where I am. You'll have to take the class until I get back. Oh, OK. Bye. Mrs Elf. You're the teacher now. Yes. Don't panic, Mrs. Elf. You can do this. You're in charge. Uh, maybe we should take away their wands. Good idea, Ben. Right, everyone. We are going to play a game. It's called Hide the Wands. We'll take the wands and hide them in this drawer. Good. Now, let's draw a lovely picture. What shall we draw? Butterflies? Bunny rabbits? Dinosaurs! Tarquin like dinosaurs! Oh, OK. Big teeth! <laughs> Good! Now use your imaginations. Let's all close our eyes and imagine what it would be like in the time of the dinosaurs. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? It's keeping them happy and quiet. Imagine the fiery volcanoes and thick jungle and dinosaurs. Pretend you're really there. What was that? I think the school moved. Daisy, Poppy, did you just do something? It's all right, Holly. They're being very good. And it's nearly home time. How lovely and quiet. Why is it so different today? It's time to pick up the twins. Ah, the twins. That's why it's quiet. Right, Nanny, I'm on my way. Hello, have you come to pick up your toddlers? Yes. yes. Ah, where's the playgroup? It's, it's gone. gone. Wow. Last time the toddlers just made the teacher disappear. This time it's the whole school. Home time. Phew. Well done, Mrs. Elf. 
That wasn't too bad. Apart from the Queen disappearing. Oh, yes, the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time, children. Don't run. Oh, my goodness. Daisy, Puppy, where have you sent us? Dinosaur, dinosaur. <laughs> oh, no. They've sent us back in time to the land of the dinosaurs. How are we going to get home again? Let's not panic. There's an answer to everything. OK, we're stuck in the land of the dinosaurs. 65 million years in the past. So, what's the answer? I'm thinking. I have an idea. I might be able to magic the school back. It's worth a try. Abracadabra! The main thing is not to panic. Ah! The school's gone. Shall we start panicking now, Mum? Yes. It's the school. Hooray! Welcome back, everybody. Oh, there's no one here. Trapped in the land of the dinosaurs with no way back. Don't worry. There must be an answer. Think, Mrs. Elf. Think. What's that? Is it a dinosaur? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a cave woman. <laughs> Shoes. Shoes. Wait a minute. It's Mrs. Fotheringill. The lost teacher. I've been stuck here for ages. Thank goodness you finally come to rescue me. Well, we sort of need rescuing ourselves, actually. Oh. If only Mummy was here. Yes, the Queen could magic us home. But the Queen is here. I saw her this morning. Hooray! But she was carried off by one of those pterodactyl things. <coughs> Leaving just her wand and her cell phone. Mrs. Fotheringill, do you know where the pterodactyls live? They live on Scary Mountain. I could take you there if you want. All right. Come on, children. Hold hands. Stay together. Mrs. Fotheringill, why is it called Scary Mountain? But I'm trapped. It won't lift up its foot. I'll climb up and tickle the pterodactyl. Elves are good at tickling pterodactyls, and I'm an elf. Careful, Ben. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> tickle, tickle. <laughs> Hooray! Here's your wand, Mummy. Thank you, everyone. Now I think we all better get back home. Oh, hello! Hello, everyone. I was getting a tiny bit worried. I think it's all gone very well for the first day. And the good news is we've found Mrs. Fotheringill. Hello! Welcome back, Mrs. Fotheringill. I expect you'd like a little rest. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. Thank you. You'll need to get your strength back before you start teaching the playgroup. Cast on, fetch! <laughs> Good boy, Gaston. <laughs> Gaston loves his tummy being tickled. <laughs> Gaston is the best pet in the world ever. OK, girls, playtime is over. Time for your magic lesson. Aww. Do we have to? Yes, Strawberry. Now, who can show me some magic? Um, I can make an egg appear. Eggs can be quite tricky, but have a go. Ugh, stinky! Hmm, <laughs> it looks like you've magicked up a dragon's egg. Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my crown! Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my wand? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. Oh, the dragon's egg is hatching. My dad says dragons are dangerous wild animals. And they breathe fire. Oh, I'm scared. Let's run away. Oh, isn't it cute? Hello. 
Hi. Oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> Gaston, be nice to the baby dragon. <laughs> Bad ladybird. <laughs> what shall we call it? How about cuddles? No, he should be called Fang. Yeah, Fang. I like Snuggle Bunny. Fire Claw. What about Dave? Dave the Dragon. Yay! <laughs> Dave. That's your new name. <laughs> Dave has got really big paws. That shows he'll grow much bigger. <laughs> what do you want, Gaston? <laughs> oh, all right. Fetch the stick. <laughs> wow! Aren't you clever, Dave? <laughs> He wants his tummy tickled. Aww! How cute! <laughs> Dave's the best pet in the world ever! <laughs> Where's Gaston gone? Oh, I don't know. Oh well, it doesn't matter. We've got Dave! Princess Holly! Home time! Oh, I've got to go now. Bye! Holly, the dragon's following you. No, Dave. You have to go home now. But where is his home? You magicked him up. I guess he hasn't got one. <laughs> Never mind. He can come home with me. <laughs> dee dee da dum dee dum dee do. Dee dee da dum. Nanny! Nanny! Hello, you two. <laughs> A baby dragon! His name's Dave. He's going to live here. I'm sorry, Holly. There's no way the king's going to let you keep a dragon. Oh, look! A baby dragon! <laughs> Isn't he cute? Can we keep him? Of course. Why ever not? On second thoughts, get that dragon out of here! Aww. Dave can live in my house. I'm sure my parents won't mind. Good. That's sorted. Come on, Dave. Ben, are you sure your parents won't mind? They'll be fine. But maybe Dave should stay out of sight at first. All right. Dave, stay. Good boy. Dad, remember you said I could have a pet in my room one day? Yes. Maybe it is time you had a pet of your own. Something small to start with. What about an ant? Or a goldfish? Yes. Or what about a dragon? Dragon alarm! Fire breathing dragon! Dragon alarm! Save the elf tree! Sorry, Ben. We must all help. The elf tree is in danger! Dragons breathe fire! Phew! Looks like everything is under control. Anyway, back to your pet, Ben. What was it you wanted? Uh, it was the dragon. <gasps> you can't have a dragon in your room. He could burn the house down. It's the most dangerous pet you could have in a tree. Apart from woodworm. It's okay, everyone. My son is taking the dragon away. Oh. <laughs> Where can Dave live? How about Gaston's house? Yes, it'll be nice for Gaston to have a friend to stay. <laughs> Hi, Gaston. We've got a visitor for you. <laughs> Look, he's drinking Gaston's water. <laughs> he's sleeping in Gaston's bed. He's making himself at home. <laughs> Ben, you don't think Gaston minds sharing his home, do you? No. I think he's pleased to have a new friend. <laughs> Look, Dave got bigger. Oh. We'd better get him out of here while we still can. Hush. <laughs> I see the baby dragon is getting bigger. Yeah. Nanny, and it's impossible to find anywhere for him to live. Hmm, he needs to go home. But where is his home? Dragonland, of course. Mind you, 
It's a long, long way away. My dad can fly us there in the elf plane. He'll be happy to take us. What? Take a fire-breathing dragon on an aeroplane? Never! The dragon's back! Sound the alarm! Get that dragon out of here! <sighs> All right then, hold the dragon. Ready for takeoff! The dragon! Not breathing any fire, is it? Dave's not silly, Mr. Elf. He knows not to do it in a plane. Everything okay back there? Uh, yes, Dad. Don't do it again, Dave. <laughs> Nanny Plum, where is Dragonland? Dragonland isn't marked on any maps. It's the only place the dragons can get some peace and quiet nowadays. Here we are! Dragonland! I'll open the back of the plane. Get ready to chuck him out. Chuck him out? Dad? He can fly, can't he? Oh, all right. I'll land. But we mustn't stay long. It's so hot here. And everything's burnt. Yes. Dave feels right at home. Marvellous. Uh, let's get going then, shall we? Nanny, how big is a grown-up dragon? Think of the biggest thing that you can think of. And it's bigger than that. Bigger than a horse? Much bigger. Bigger than an elephant? Yeah, you're getting there. Wow. A grown-up dragon is ginormous. Right then, home time. But we haven't said goodbye to Dave. OK, quickly. Goodbye, Dave. This is where you belong. This is your home. <coughs> Don't worry, Gaston. Maybe Dave can come and visit you. <coughs> wow, more dragons. Lovely. Well, maybe we should be thinking about leaving. Can't we stay a bit longer? No. Run! Bye-bye, Dave. <coughs> Fast seatbelts and off we go! Whoa, looks like we got away with that one. <gasps> nice dragon. Don't breathe fire now. Don't breathe fire. Nice dragon. Whoa. Whoa, it's a bit warm in here. Let's open the door and get some fresh air. Gaston wants to play. Here, boy, fetch the stick. Oh, the back door is open. <laughs> Fox Cubs. Are you looking forward to your first day at Fox Cubs, Ben? Yes, Dad. I loved being a Fox Cub when I was your age. I've still got my hat. In my day, it was Old Grey Wolf in charge. They've got a new leader now. I wonder who it is. Welcome to Fox Cubs, everybody. I'm the new leader. Hello, Hello Nanny Plum. Plum. Don't call me Nanny Plum. I'm Fluffy Owl, to wit to woo. Hello, Fluffy Owl, to wit to woo. <laughs> Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Hello, Nanny Plum. What are you doing here? I'm the new Fox Cub leader. You have to call me Fluffy Owl. Twit to woo. Oh, hello, Fluffy Owl. You have to say the twit to woo bit as well. Tawit ta woo. You're just in time for the badges. Oh, is someone getting a badge? Ben, you're going to have so much fun getting your badges. Dad, what badges did you get when you were a fox cub? I got an adventure badge, a sailing badge, and a knots badge. A knots badge? Yes. After days and days of tying knot after knot, I finally got my knots badge. It was hard work, but worth it. Who wants a badge? Eh? Everyone step forward and tell me what badge you'd like. You first, Rosie. Can I have an adventure badge, please? 
teeth. One adventure badge. But, but... Can I have a sailing badge? Of course. One sailing badge. Strawberry, what would you like? A knots badge, please. Here you go. Stop it. Stop it at once. You don't just hand out badges. Why not? You have to earn your badges. To get my adventure badge, I had to spend three days camping in the wild. Well, I watched a whole night of TV for my watching TV badge. Watching TV badge? That's not what the Fox Cubs are about. The Fox Cubs are about having adventures in the wild. Adventures do sound like fun. We like adventures. Mr. Elf, can we have an adventure in the wild? Well, it's not up to me. It's up to Fluffy Owl. Oh, very well. Follow me, everyone. OK, here we are, having an adventure. What do we do? Well, imagine we had to look for food. How do we find food here? Fluffy Owl, why don't you show the children how to find food in the wild? All right. This way, everyone. Now they'll see. It's not easy to find food in the wild. Hiya! We found food! Ice cream! Ice cream? Yes, from the ice cream van over there. But that's cheating! Look, you said find some food, so we did. Now you're changing the rules. We got you a raspberry ripple, Mr Elf. OK, moving on from finding food. Does anybody know how to make a shelter? Oh, me! Me! I brought my tent. Watch this. There we go. Ooh. It's got five bedrooms, a bathroom, a television, and even a cellar. Oh, it's amazing. The best tent in the world. We can't sleep in that. Why not? What's wrong with being comfortable when you're on holiday? This is an adventure, not a holiday. We'll make a shelter out of two twigs and a leaf. You lean the twigs up like this, and hey, presto, what have you got? Two twigs and a leaf. Where's the bed? You sleep on the ground. It's nature's bed. Lovely and cosy. But why bother when you can sleep in my castle tent? You're missing the point. Do you fox cubs want a real adventure? Yes! Good. If you're going to learn how to survive in the wild, you have to be in the wild. Like, uh, at the top of a mountain. What? Fluffy Owl, please magic us to the top of a mountain. OK. Abracadabra. Wow, we're at the top of a real mountain. Tim. Fantastic! Now, how are we going to get home? Easy! Our magic is home! Let's say you don't have your wand with you. OK, I'll call for help. No phone either. Hello, hello. But that's going to make it very, very difficult to get home. Exactly! But when you get home, you will have earned your adventure badge. So, what do we do first? Maybe we should start by working out which mountain we're on. Good, Ben. That's exactly what we should do. Fluffy Owl, which mountain did you magic us to? No idea. What? You just said a mountain. I don't know one mountain from another. Well, that makes things a bit tricky. Why? Because we don't even know what country we're in. Oh. Perhaps you should magic us back home and we'll start again. I can't. You threw my wand down the mountain. Oh, yes. Let's ring for help. But you threw Fluffy Owl's phone down the mountain too. Oh, yes. So I did. You wanted us to be lost. Now we're lost. Happy now? I'm sure Mr. Elf wouldn't have sent us to the top of a mountain if he didn't know how to get us home. Thank you, Strawberry. OK, I think I can work out where we are by using my compass. Let's see. North is that way, and the position of the sun is... Oh, my goodness! We're on Everest! What's that, then? Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the whole world! world. Everest far from home, Dad? A bit far from home, Ben, yes. And is it really very high? A bit high? Yes, Holly. I suppose we could just climb down. Just climb down? Just climb down Everest? The enormous, treacherous mountain of rock and ice? Perilous?
perilous cliff after perilous cliff that could only be conquered by the world's greatest mountaineers? So, Mount Everest is not safe for children to climb down? No, Mount Everest isn't child-friendly. So what do we do now, Mr. Einstein? I don't know. Oh, if only we had my castle tent. <sighs> what good would that do? We could watch TV. Could the fairy fly for help? In that wind? You'd be blown away. No, what we need is someone who can climb down the mountain and fetch help. I know. Gaston is good at climbing. Good idea, Ben. Go, Gaston. Go. Get help. It may be some time before Gaston returns. After climbing down the mountain, he will have to journey through the jungle, cross the desert, swim the ocean before he arrives at the little kingdom. Hello, Gaston. What's that? All the children and Fluffy Owl and Mr. Elf all trapped at the top of a mountain, you say? Then this is a job for Old Grey Wolf. Ahoo! Lead the way, Gaston. Is this mountain far? Still further? Oh. Are we nearly there? So, quite a way then. Gaston's been gone for ages. I hope he's all right. Gaston! And he's brought Old Grey Wolf. Oh, I'm very pleased to see you, Old Grey Donkey. It's Old Grey Wolf, and you have to say, Awoo! OK, Awoo! What's your plan, Old Grey Wolf? Awoo! Have you brought the elf helicopter to lift us to safety? Or a team of mountain rescue elves to carry us down the mountain? Uh, actually, I, I set off in, in a bit of a hurry, and you were a bit further away than I expected. So, you're just here on your own without a plan of any sort? Uh, yes. That's about it. Maybe you should do a bit of a magic? I'd love to, but he threw my wand away. So that's why I found it at the bottom of the mountain. Oh, it's good to have you back again. So, if you wouldn't mind um, magicking us back home? No problemo. Hooray! That was a really good adventure. Thank you, Fluffy Owl. Twit twoo! Well, you should thank Mr. Elf. It was his idea. Thank you, Mr. Elf. Yes, Dad. It was great. Ho oh, oh. ho! And I think all of you fox cubs have earned your adventure badges. Indeed. Adventure badges for everyone. Thank you, Old Grey Wolf. Wow. And for fetching help in the Fox Cubs' hour of need, one of you has earned the rescue badge. Who is it? Gaston, of course. Gaston to the rescue! No time to read the newspaper, Your Majesty. There is King's work to be done. What King's work? The elves want you to inspect their latest toy. Oh, I don't like these elf toy inspections. The toys are always perfect, and all I say is, they're perfect. There's the elf truck now. Hello, Your Majesty. May I present the very latest elf toy? A space rocket. It's perfect. Don't you want to see it fly? <sighs> okay, if I must. Is that it? Yes. But it's called a space rocket. It didn't go anywhere near space, did it? It's just a toy, Your Majesty. Just a toy? I could kick a football higher than that. And rockets should be able to go higher than footballs. Well, I'm sure we can make it go higher. How high? I could make a rocket go to the moon if I wanted to. No, you couldn't. Yes, I could. I'm an elf. <coughs> and elves can do anything. Very well. I command the elves to build a rocket to fly me to the moon. And me! To fly me and Princess Holly to the moon. And me and Gaston! <coughs> and Nanny Plum to look after the children. 
I bet you can't fly Holly, Ben, Gaston, me and Nanny Plum to the moon. You're on. By tonight. Oh, okay. Marvellous. See you later then. Come on, Ben. We'd better go and start making that rocket. It's a matter of elf honour. OK. Bye, Holly. See you tonight. Bye. <laughs> ah, how did the toy inspection go? Uh, did the king say the toy rocket was perfect? Uh, he thought it could go a bit higher. Oh, really? Well, I suppose I could fit as strong a spring. How high does the king want it to go? To the moon? To the moon? And I said we could have some people inside. People inside? By tonight. Impossible! Elf honor is at stake. Elf honor? In that case, we must do it. We'll build this rocket and we'll fly it to the moon tonight. Stop toy production at the Elf Factory. Start work on the Elf Rocket immediately. Right now, I will work out how to get the Elf Rocket from here... The Little Kingdom. ...to here. The Moon. Ah, Nanny Plum. I'd like you to join us on a little trip this evening to the moon. A trip to the moon? That sounds nice. I'll pack a picnic. Hello? Hello, Your Majesty. The elf rocket is ready. That was quick. Elves work quickly. And where elves? <laughs> May I present the elf rocket? Does it fly? Does it fly? Of course it flies. It's an elf rocket. The rocket will land here in the Sea of Tranquility. Oh, the seaside. We can make sandcastles. We can have a picnic on the beach. And you can go paddling in the sea. There is no water on the moon. But what is the sea made from? Just rock. A sea of rock? What's the point of that? Listen, everyone. This is a very serious mission. There'll be no swimming or picnic. Here is the main cabin. The cabin is a bit tiny. I might stay down below in the kitchen. The kitchen? There isn't a kitchen. No kitchen? What's all this big space for then? This space is for the fuel, Nanny Palum. I have worked out exactly how much fuel we need to get you to the moon. Where's the toilet then? There isn't one. You'll just have to go before you leave. No toilet? But if we're having a picnic at the seaside, we'll need... Nanny Palum, it's not a picnic at the seaside. It's a very serious mission. We are going to the moon. Now, all astronauts into their spacesuits, get ready for takeoff. <laughs> What's this for? There's no air in space. You'll have to wear a spacesuit. But we can just use magic to breathe. No, magic is not allowed aboard the elf rocket. You will have to leave your wands behind. <sighs> okay. Astronauts aboard the rocket! Queen Sissel, would you please come with me to the mission control room? Ooh! Systems check! Engines ready? Engines are go! Computers ready? Computers on fire! Fuel system ready? Fuel systems A okay. Start the countdown. Ten. I want to wish you all the best of luck. Eight. You are going where no elf Seven. has gone before. Oh, fairy. Oh, or fairy. Oh, sorry, Five. Holly. You are going where Four. no elf or fairy Three. has gone before. Is everyone ready? All ready and A-OK, -okay, wise old elf. Zero. Here we go! Next up, the moon! 
Blast off! Hang on, everybody! All systems go! Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Into space! It actually worked. I wasn't expecting that. We are now out of Earth's atmosphere. We can take off our seatbelts. Whoa! I'm flying! That's because there's no gravity in space. I'm flapping my wings, but they don't do anything. Yes, your wings won't work in zero gravity. <laughs> Are you sure there isn't a toilet? What's through this door? No! Don't open that door! Ah! I'm on! What happened? When you open a door in space, it sucks all the air out of the rocket. Poor Nanny Plum. She's floating away. Hello! My wings don't work! We can hear you through the radio, Nanny Plum. You don't need to shout. Just stay calm. Stay calm? I'm floating off into deep space. Elf Rocket, this is Mission Control. What's going on up there? Nanny Plum opened the door and is now lost in space. Oh dear, that's a shame. Well, never mind. On with the mission. No, we have to rescue Nanny Plum. Oh, I suppose we must. I'll rescue Nanny. Me too. <laughs> all right, you're all tied to this rope so you won't drift away. Are you ready? Ready. <laughs> We're coming, Nanny Plum. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on to what? Oh, no. We can't reach Nanny Plum. Mr. Elf, the rope isn't long enough. Oh, no. Lost in space. But I never even went to the toilet. Here's your lasso, Ben. Thanks, Dad. Keep still. I'm going to throw this lasso around your waist. Got you. Wahey! You rescued Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you, Ben. Oh, thank you, everyone, for rescuing me. Let that be a lesson to you, Nanny Plum. No more opening doors. I was just having a look around. Well, please don't look around. This is a serious mission. Elf, honour is at stake. Well, I'm very sorry. I won't touch anything again. Fairy's honour. Good. Now, everybody strap themselves in. Our next stop is the moon. Oh, good. The sooner we get there, the sooner we can have our picnic. For the last time, Nanny Plum, there will be no picnic on the moon. This... Delivery. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I'm helping my dad today. He's very busy. Thank you, Mr. L. Got a dash. On to our next delivery. Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. Daddy, are you busy? I'm King Thistle. I'm always busy. I have lots of important work to do. You're not working now. I am. I'm practicing sitting still, without falling asleep. That's not work. It is King's work. And it's harder than it looks. Oh, what else is King's work? Making speeches, shaking hands and waving a lot. <laughs> that sounds fun. Can I help you work today? Of course, Holly. Oh, goody. Magic car, drive on. Now, the first job for any king is waving. It's a bit boring, but you do it like this. Oh, look! It's the king! Hello! 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 Hello. It's Princess Holly! Hello! <laughs> this is fun! Yes, a good wave will work wonders wherever you go. Where are we going? Nanny Plum, what's the first bit of work I'm doing today? 
You're launching an elf boat, Your Majesty. How do you launch a boat? I'll show you. <laughs> Princess Holly and King Thistle. This is where I make a speech. <clears throat> well done, elves, for building this boat. It uh, looks like a good one. And I'm sure you will have a lot of uh, fun with it. Jolly good show. Now we smash a bottle of sparkling fairy juice against the side of the boat. Ah. But where is the fairy juice? <laughs> Sorry, Your Majesty. We're very busy today. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Got a dash. On to our next delivery. Bye, Holly. Bye. <laughs> I declare this elf boat well and truly launched. Daddy, what do we do now? We shake hands and ask questions. Hello. And what do you do? I hammer metal, Your Majesty. How very interesting. Hello. And what do you do? I'm the ship's cook, Your Majesty. How very interesting. <laughs> and what do you do? I'm the captain, Princess Holly. How very interesting. Daddy, can we ride on the boat? Please? Good idea, Holly. I never get to try these things. Captain, would it be possible to ride on your boat, please? It would be an honour, Your Majesty. <whistles> this is nice, Daddy. Yes, it is rather nice, isn't it? I don't know why I've never done this before. Would you like some lunch, Your Majesty? Oh, yes. I am rather hungry. Me too. Telephone for Your Majesty. Someone called Nanny Plum? Hello, Nanny Plum. Yes. Yes, of course. Right away. Nanny says I have to get back to work. Oh, but Daddy, what about lunch? I know. But there is more important king work to be done. But, Daddy, you're king. That means you're in charge. Ah, Holly, everyone thinks I'm in charge, but really, I get told what to do all the time. When are we having lunch, Nanny? There's no time for lunch, Your Majesty. You have to judge a fairy fruit and vegetable competition. How do you do that, Daddy? How do I do that, Nanny? You pick the biggest. Princess Holly and King Thistle. Hooray! Hooray! Here are the finalists, Your Majesty. This is a tomato. Ah, very, uh, big. And this, a strawberry. Also very big and, uh, red. Now I have to make another speech. Ah. Well done, everybody, for growing this, um, stuff. It all looks, uh, very big. Now, without further ado, I judge that the winner is the tomato. Or perhaps the strawberry. No, no, the tomato. Daddy, they keep using magic. Yes, this happens every time. Why don't we just see which one tastes the best? What a good idea. Let's taste them. <laughs> it can be our lunch. First, the main course, the tomato. Mmm. Mm. Delicious. Now for pudding. The strawberry. Mmm. Scrumptious. Yum, yum. They're both so very tasty. They both win. Hooray! Hooray! So, where's the trophy? Hope I'm not too late, Your Majesty. 
No, you're just in time. Well done. Jolly good show. Hooray! Hooray! Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Bye, Holly. Bye. Mmm, that was delicious. Now I'd like a little nap. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. There's no time for that. But I'm tired, Nanny. You must make another speech at the Festival of Elf and Fairy Dancing. Oh, I don't know anything about dancing. How can I make a speech about it? Daddy, I can do a speech. I've been watching you do it all day. Excellent. You can make the speech, Holly. Princess Holly and King Thistle. Hooray! Hooray! Look, Mr. Elf has brought the musical instruments. Hi, Holly. That was the last delivery. Now we can play. You might have finished, Ben, but I'm still working. Holly, it's time for your speech. Hello. You all look very nice, and I hope you have fun dancing today. Uh... Jolly good show. Jolly good show. <laughs> what happens now? Now comes the hard bit. We have to sit still and not fall asleep. In honour of your majesty, we will now do a dance. <laughs> Even worse. Very good. Very good. Come on, Daddy. Let's dance. What? But I. Oh, all right. Could you play something a little bit more modern? Righto. <laughs> I like your work, Daddy. It's fun. Oh, 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 you're right, Holly. King's work is fun. Oh, that was a busy day. Ho, ho. Yes, it was. Hi, Ollie. Hi, Ben. Coming out to play. I'll be right down. Hi, Gaston. <coughs> Let's play in the meadow. <coughs> Hi everyone! Hello, Hello Barnaby. Barnaby! What are you doing? We're throwing sticks for Gaston. Gaston likes fetching sticks. <laughs> oh, that's not a stick. Hello everyone! Hi, Hi Strawberry! <gasps> What's that? It looks like a tin arm. Gaston, where did you find this? Wow! What's that? It's a toy robot. Ooh! It's a bit broken. We could mend it with magic. Uh, no thanks, Strawberry. We'll fix it the elf way. Elves are very good at fixing things. And we're elves! <laughs> there! Finished! Ooh. So, will it talk? Will it make me a cup of tea? No, it's just a toy robot. It'll do this. Uh. That's a bit boring. It isn't boring. That's what toy robots do. Let's switch it on. It 
doesn't do anything. Oh, maybe it needs batteries. No, it's clockwork, but there's no key. I'll magic a key. Oh, Holly, I don't think we should use a magic key. Magic can be dangerous. I'm sure it will be okay. Whatever happens, it will be fun. Mm, all right. Shush, Gaston. OK, let's see what happens. It's working! Master, what is your name? Ooh. Is that what it's supposed to do? I don't know. Uh, I'm Ben Elf. Ben Elf, you are my master. We thought robots went er, 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 <laughs> er, 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 er. Ah! Help! Help! Oh, oh no. no! Put us down, you silly robot! Put the girls down! I only answer to my master, Ben Elf. Robot, uh, put the fairies down, please. Yes, Ben Elf. And say sorry. Sorry. That was a bit scary. Hmm, it's not like a normal toy robot. I think my key might have made it a bit magic. But it seems to do what I say, so we should be okay. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, Wise What do you have there? We found a toy robot. It was broken, so we mended it. Well done. Ah, yes. This is the old Mark Z33 built by the Elf Factory. Hmm, it was a rather basic model. Uh, please don't get it angry. I beg your pardon, Ben Elf. You talk as if it can understand. Well, it does seem to. It's just a toy robot, only capable of going... Ah, 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 ah. Put me down, you silly robot! You are a rude old elf. Ooh. Robot, put the wise old elf down! Yes, bad elf. Oh, very strange. I, I don't remember the Z-33 being able to talk. It's escaping! We'd better get it back! Da, da, da. Do da di da 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 la la da dum di da 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 di da di. What a beautiful sound! Da da di dum da dum di da. Oh, where's it gone? Ah, that sounds like Nanny Plum. Help! Help! <gasps> Robot, put Nanny Plum down. Yes, Ben Elf. Oof! Oh, thank you, Ben. What is this thing? It's just a toy robot. But it does anything Ben says. Really? Yes. Watch this. Robot, clean up the courtyard. Must clean up. Must clean up. Must clean up. It's very good, isn't it? I'd like one of those to do all my cleaning. You can Must borrow my robot up. if you want to. Must That's very up. kind of you, Ben. Must Maybe I'll borrow it just for this evening. Must OK, robot, I'm going home now. But I want you to stay here and tidy the castle. Yes, Ben Elf. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. My goodness. Must tidy What's up. this? It's Must Ben's robot. Nanny has borrowed it to tidy up the castle. It looks like it's doing a very good job. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. Hmm. I think I prefer the traditional fairy way. Dinner time! Ah, oh, dinner. dinner! Ah, I expect 
The robot has come to serve us our dinner. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. Oh, Must tidy it was me. Up. I think we should tell this robot to stop. We can't. The robot only listens to Ben. So what can we do? Uh, Ben told the robot to tidy the whole castle. So maybe we should go to bed and let the robot finish. Good idea, Holly. The robot should have finished tidying by morning. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. What? Is it morning already? Uh! Must tidy up. Must tidy up. Put me down! Put me down! Uh! Goodness me! What's happening? The robot is tidying up everything. Yes, including us. It's a monster. How do we stop it? Only Ben can stop it. Hello, Mrs. Elf speaking. Hello, Mrs. Elf. Sorry, it is a bit late, but this is an emergency. We need Ben. Now. Righto. Ben. There's an emergency at the little castle. We have to go right away. Righto! Elves to the rescue! <laughs> Who's the best at rescuing? Elves are best at rescuing. And what are we? We're elves! <laughs> it's the elves! Hooray! Look! There's my robot! Ah! Put me down! Oof. Bad elf. Master. 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 Oh, it's wound down. Hooray! But what could have caused the toy robot to act so strangely? Uh, I think it was my magic key that did it. Ah, magic. <laughs> what have you got there, Gaston? It's the proper key! Well, well done, done, Gaston! Uh, Ben, are you sure that's a good idea? It'll be fine! Ah, that's the toy robot I remember.